Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Orvi3NWO, and uh, instead of a gameplay this time, I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do a tutorial. Uh, I had a request, sort of, from Retraction Cinema. Uh, they wanted to know how I made my video templates, and before we really get into that, just saw on their page when I was looking at it that they lost 3.6 thousand subs, so they're kind of in the same boat as me, so help these guys out the same way as me. Uh, anyways... They wanted to know how I made my video template like this. One of you can decide if you're going to do it. Uh, whoever gets there first, just let them have it and run off, or you're going to Anyways, it it's, a, it's actually pretty simple. And now, right before we start, I want to say I am by no means some unbelievable video editor genius guy. <laughs> uh, I don't really know why a lot of this stuff works the way it does. Uh, so if you do, feel free to leave comments on if there's a better way to do it, better settings, anything like that. I love to hear that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to have to go through this kind of quick because my, my channel doesn't have the extended videos yet. So, But anyways, if you know a better way of doing this, by all means, leave it in the comment section. Anyways, this is what it's going to kind of look like. Uh, I may just put a link to this template uh, out. I'm not sure yet, but I might. Anyways, it's kind of like this. have a background and a bunch of little shapes and stuff. Uh, but anyways, how you start? I'm saying anyways way too much. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, to start... I'm going to go here, and you can make it any size you want. I usually start with 1280 by 720, but you can do whatever. I usually increase that size before I save it, just so that it'll look a little better when it's, you know, when it's out there. Anyways, there's that anyways again. <laughs> uh, so then, you just kind of take a background. You can use any background you want. Uh, the one I use is one that I created. A good place to find some is... You can just go to Google and find them on there, or... Wallpaper Abyss is a great place. Uh, they have all kinds of stuff in here. Sorry, my computer's running kind of slow, but uh, everything you want. They've got video game stuff, but really, what you want to find is a uh, is a pattern. If I can get the right category here. Pattern, 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 pattern. Anything you know really whatever you like it's not going to be real visible but you know anything like that kind of solid looking with cool colors uh, I've got one myself and let's see get in here control open control open control O will open stuff for you <laughs> backgrounds that's on a uh, Windows not on Mac I don't know how it works on Mac there's that and I want to do control A to select all control C to copy Go back to our other deal, control V to paste, and you have a background. Now, what I like to do for the shapes, uh, the boxes that you're going to put everything on, create a new group, and then create the layers inside that group. And then I really, there's a lot of stuff you can do, drop shadows and everything. I just use the rectangle box. And I really just kind of make it just kind of, you know, what looks good. You know, this is a pretty good size. You can kind of play with it. Uh, if you don't like it, go back and change it. I just put it on there like that. You can do any color on the background. White kind of makes it pop sometimes. I usually just do black. But for every shape, you want to make a new layer so that you can edit them later. Uh, and you can turn off the background. It'll help you see it a little better. Let you line up your sizes a little better. So that's probably a little... That's kind of screwed up there. But uh, we get a little closer here. And you don't have to do... Like mine has a, a little spot for the webcam, which would be like that. But you don't have to do that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to switch back over to this other one here, since it's already kind of done. Save me some time. And you can see, you can put anything you want. I usually put my perks here and my kill streaks here, and I do like my weapons, my two weapons, and the equipment that I use, and then the webcam up here. But you can really uh, do whatever you want. If you don't have a webcam or if you don't want to use a webcam, then it's real easy. You can just put like your kills and deaths and streak. That's I saw C. Nanners do that a lot on his when he did it. Uh, Sorry that I'm rushing through this, but I just I really don't have a whole lot of time. Now, to get the actual pictures of the guns, go back to Google, and you can go to Call of Duty, Call of Duty Wiki. And in here, for any of the games, Modern Warfare 2, they'll have Modern Warfare 3 eventually. Oh, they already got it up a little bit. Uh, Black Ops, anything. Just go to the game. You can go down. Like I said, you can even go. They've got perks, weapons, everything, like Ghost Pro. Boom. And you just find the picture you want. They got regular or pro. They have, I mean, everything. Right click it, and you want to save picture as, 
and you want to make sure it's a PNG. The PNG will make sure that the background is transparent and not white, and that'll look a lot better. So then you want to save it. I've already got them saved though. Uh, let's go back to Photoshop. So then, Control O, Desktop, COD stuff. There we go. In game fix. And just take whichever one you want. Do the FAMAS here. Control A, Control C, Control V. And it is in a new layer above the shapes. There we go. And then you can just kind of drag it to wherever you want to. So that's a little small. So we have control T to make uh, make it where we can transform. When you're going with the size, uh, when you're sizing everything, you want to make sure that you hold shift so that it will stay kind of uh, proportional. You can move it around, whatever you like. And just do the same thing with each one. Uh, after you apply it, boom, there you go. That looks pretty decent, actually. You can put your attachments in there if you want, just whatever. Uh, I'm going to start putting like the name of the gun here. It's what I did on my older ones. Now, once you have this saved, I just go File, Save As, and I save it as a JPEG. But really doesn't matter. Uh, JPEG do pr does pretty well. Uh, then you want to go into Sony Vegas. This is what I use. If you have something else, uh, I'm sorry. This is This is pretty much all I use to do it. So I can't really help you much on the other stuff. But let me see. Cut stuff. New template. Drag it in here. There it is. And we actually want it lower though. We want it want to have the, the video on top of it. Just drag it out here. And then I've got, let me see, I've got some kind of a clip I can use. Drag and drop this in here. There we go. And then we don't need all of that. All right, now you've got your video on top. Uh, so you can see basically that it's all video now. You can't see your background at all. So what we want to do is go to this right here on the video line. You want to go to track motion. Uh, you want to make sure, this is a big deal here, make sure that lock aspect ratio is clicked. Uh, that'll keep it proportional. Then you can change your size of your video here to whatever. So you see when it goes down to 500, that makes it obviously way too small. 900 oh, if I can get it 900 that's a little better and then to move it it's X and Y up here positive on X makes it go to the right negative on X makes it go to the left uh, same deal with Y positive on Y makes it go up negative makes it go down you can make it really really intricate movements by doing the numbers on there you can also just grab here and drag it and that'll work too but it's, it's a lot harder to do uh, once you get it where you want, you can create a preset like I have here. I hit gameplay and then just bam, perfect. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to create a preset, you just name it once you've got it set and then click the little save button here. And that's really, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, do the same thing with any other videos. If you have a webcam or something on the top right, do the same thing. Uh, if there's anything that I forgot, if you have any problems at all, please let me know. Uh, I'll be happy to help you. If someone else knows anything, uh, please leave comments if there's a better way to do it. In future videos, I will probably do like uh, render settings and that kind of stuff. Um, just to, you know, I know a lot of people want to want to see that kind of things. I have some good stuff on that. Here's a video of what I just did. little edit on it. I thought it looked pretty cool. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. If there's anything else I can do to help, please let me know.